session. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Guide Me series. Uh, you probably saw the previous ones where I made a special guest with Mort. Now we have a former player, a professional player, uh, who's also a Slick Rick main, and I hope he can represent himself. Slick JJ model, tell who you are. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. JJ Mondo, like he said, uh, I'm a former, former competitor in Def Jam, but I still love this game. I played this game. Yo, I played the fuck out this game as a little kid, bro. I ran through it so, 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 so much that every year I would look up if there's tournaments going on for Def Jam every single year, and then I would find nothing until one year I did. And then when I did, I found Sydney. They was hosting tournaments, running the game. I remember blasting her on Twitter every single day, like, yo, where's the Vada? Where's the Vada? Where's the Vada? <laughs> Until I got that shit. Then later I saw the community. Uh, I actually got invited to the Discord, met GK, Joey, Cindy, and the rest is history. And I've been uh, in love with the game ever since. Yeah. So. And you had done I a lot of the, you done a lot for the server as well and the game itself. I mean, yeah, I helped uh, create the name of the Bible as well as Netplay early on. Uh, I was hoping a lot of people figure that out and just get to play the game with each other. And I was just really big on that, you know. what I'm saying community first, and mm -hmm. and you need to get the players together, you know. what I'm saying because us us four played it is cool, but then to see what y'all have done when you know especially you like you are an international player it's crazy to 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 even hear the accent of your voice and see you care so much <laughs> about the game like it's, it's wild yeah man uh, uh, i mean when people always tell me like the people i coach and such um they always tell me like oh this like is like oh i can't play on this like i'm like bro i won tournaments in 160 ping bro i don't hear you complain <laughs> <laughs> Yo, then as I remember the first international uh, Blazing Fridays that we had, and I was the only American player in that whole tournament, and had to deal with everybody being a hundred plus ping, like everybody, Oof. everybody being hundred plus, and it was lagging so bad. Not not only like stuttering sometimes, but the input delay, bro. I was playing in milk. <laughs> That's what it felt like, but I still played through the shit. I still. Even even through, uh, if you go watch any episode of Blazing Fridays, I'm in every single one. I made sure that I didn't miss a, a single one because that was, like I said, something that we did for the community. Anybody could have played, anybody could have joined, but I always wanted to make sure I was there to be with the new players. Yeah. You know? And uh, that was really fun. What a great story, man. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it's pretty cool. Also with this character, because we're going to be talking about Slick Rick today. Fun fact, I'm actually the one who brought the information to Joey and GK's attention oh. that got this character banned uh, in the first place because I used to main him and I was watching a YouTube video uh, one day and it's, it's, it showed him trying to get some like trophy in the game, right? But you know, anybody who plays Def Jam story mode is going to figure out how to exploit it. So he, he picked like uh, a submission character, like Exhibit, and then he just did an arm submission. He said in the in the video, like, arm submissions actually decrease your opponent's, like, ability to stun you, like, decrease their damage. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a second, what? I instantly cut Def Jam all, went into uh, practice mode, as we call it, you know what I'm saying? And I did it as Slick Rick. And I seen that he had an arm submission. I was like, yo, this shit is mad broke. <laughs> and, of course, at the time... Joey had played David Banner, so I was thinking, like, yo, what the fuck is Banner going to do if I hit him with just yo, one arm? Yo, fuck that arm, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I told it to them, and they instantly was like, oh, shit. Yeah, this is fucking bro. <laughs> and it led them to also look at other limbs, and you know what I'm saying, other limb damages. And also, Slick Rick also has, like, the best, like, head submission in the game. Like, he, mm. he can, like, kill you with with one combo. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? With that, with that head submission and, and depending on the that shit does ticks for like a broken amount of stun health. And then on top of that, if you deal his punch damage with it, bro, the, and that, that head submission, they done so. 
They done so, yeah. and then every time after that, they're gonna take even more damage. Yeah, that is true. Oh. But anyways, uh, let's get into uh-huh. like the character and everything. So you're since it's your character, you're gonna talk everything about the character. I'll just ask you questions so you can explain and such. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, uh, you guys won't hear any audio because like well, parsec being parsec, and I, I hear myself and such. But I hope that's fine with y'all. Anyways, um. I mean, let me put the volume down on this a little bit. Actually, it's kind of loud on the game. <laughs> oh. I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, since uh, you said that Slick Rick's banned, um, yeah. why would you say he's banned? Because I've seen him, he's on, I think he's on obvious tier, and well, obviously he's a really strong submissioners. What would you say he's... Does, do you think he deserves to be banned? I definitely think Slick Rick deserves to be banned because not only does he have ridiculous, like, combo damage because he's a kickboxer, and that alone is, like, deafening, bro. Like, that that alone is so damaging. Yeah, look at that. Uh, So, like... And that's just, like, a regular combo right there. Let's say he just got that much. Look at his health bar. Yeah, right. right? He had, just from being a kickboxer. But on top of having that much damage, right, he also has the ability to stun you. Oh, he yeah. He has the ability to take your damage away. And when, when you do an arm submission on somebody, not only does it reduce the amount of damage they're able to do to you, but it also reduces the amount of stun and wall stick they're able to do to you. So even if... Uh, Crow was to play right against me and like kick me up against a wall or something like that, right? I would come off that wall so fast that like he he might not even be able to grab me. He's not gonna be able to do like his combo. He's he's just gonna purely have to stick to like his strikes yeah. now if he wants to deal any damage to me, yeah. uh, which is like pretty significant. I mean, a character like Crow has really good strikes, thankfully for him, but you know not every character is Crow. So I guess most of the cast he just like purely disables and cripples them, and then to top it all off, uh. He's he's pretty fast. He's a pretty fast character. Like he's no slouch, and his his running like kick. Look at how fast that is. That's and it so has good. look. It has the ability to wall stick as well, which yeah. can lead into like more damage. Uh, and fun fact, this right here, his punches actually do deal head health. Like not not a significant amount, but if you're getting hit by this the whole time, this is his uh six p. I never knew. You get hit by that the whole time. Yeah, they actually deal a small amount of head health. So if you get hit by that, you're actually Taking that stun damage every single time. That's crazy, dude. Yep. So eventually, you get hit by that, right? And let's say he's not even able to open you up, really. He's just hitting you with pokes the whole time, right? Eventually, your stun is going to be whittled down to where he just hits you a one-run kick. And then either you'll be stunned on the ground, yep, like that, or you'll stick to the wall. Either one is good for Slick Rick. Yeah. So, like, he can just, like, optimize his game plan purely based either off his stuns or his ability to just absolutely... Penetrate your damage, like diminualize your damage to zero. Yeah. So I think that's the strongest part about him. And to be honest, he also has this right here, which is which is invincible, but uh, it is susceptible to like every parry. Like I think if you just if you just uh, I think even parry minus can uh, parry this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like parryable. Oh, okay, I'm trying to parry it. Yeah, it's uh, just the one where you have to step like one time to the right after you parry it to get a grab punish yeah. on it. Can you punch into it so I can get a better like time of a parry? Okay, so I'm gonna do two punches like that, and then yeah. to the kick, like that. There and then you go. You gotta yeah. Move, and then yeah, you get that. Yeah, you stab one time to the right hand, grab. There you go, and that's how you get the punish. So like everybody can punish that, but what I like to do with slick Rick is to throw off people's timing. So like if, for example, like that punch, punch, right? So that that six PP, right? And six just means forward. Six just means towards your opponent. So six PP, right? I can do six PP P, right? To throw off his timing. See, I could delay it, right? Oof, that's wow. And then, yep, I can grab. So there, there, there's there's so many mix-ups he can do. And even then, right? Let's say you just want to be purely like disrespectful. He has a punch that, on paper, I guess is not really good. This overhead, right? <laughs> because that like, you could just parry it normally. Is uh, it's unsafe. I don't even know what it's what it is on block, to be honest. But none of that matters because the only reason you want to use it is for the mix. Because if you hit, if you hit the six feet, these three, 
Oof. and land this right here, that will either knock him down and stun him, right? Or if he didn't have so much head health reduced already, if you land this, you actually get a free heavy grab off of it. Damn, man. Yeah, so if you land this, oh yeah, if you land this next to a wall, you get a free heavy grab, and it has so much pushback as well. And yeah. he's not even like a three fighter, and it kind of it kind of works as oh like a pseudo haymaker. Yeah, bro, like it's it's a really really good it's really good offensively on mix up only. Jesus. Yeah. Math threw me a half but, the screen. Uh, yes, and his punches are mainly what you want to use, but he is a kickboxer as well. So like, but his kicks, to be honest, like. I can't really think of kick strings that are like good. Like, yeah, you can do that for damage, I guess. But you really just want to be doing this all day because, like, you can even like get so many of these on the wall. You can't now because of how much uh, stun you've built up. But <laughs> normally, you could. You gotta you also could remember that the wall combos on this game are like just purely RNG as well. Yeah, yeah. But but the more uh, head damage you've taken the more likely you are to stay stuck to the wall. Hmm. Yeah, it, I think, uh, like, if you do, like, uh, head health, it makes it easier to stun as well. Yeah. Yeah. The, like, and then that's... But another thing as well I want to ask is that, with Slick Rick, what would you his prawns, uh, his pros and cons are? Okay. So, I would say his pros are... His damage, his ability to stun, right? Mm -hmm. And overall offense. Um, his run attack is also really good. Like, like just just purely offensively, he is definitely one of the, the best characters in the game. One of the best openers in the game. He has a lot of situations that could just open you up, right? But I would say his cons are he's a very unsafe character. Uh, you can punish like every single one of his options. Even this, like after a while, yeah, like you're gonna be able to get a read on his punches, and like, yeah, that's big. You know what I'm saying? Any character lands that parry, he's gonna get blown up. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna yeah. fucking die. And uh, this, this is really good. It has a lot of range. You know what I'm saying? Catch people off guard. It's a submission um, uh, root grab, you know? <laughs> yeah. So like, it's but it, like I said again, it's a risk. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. it's still really, 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 really good, but he has to do it on mix up, and uh, he's a very just risk reward character. So I would say his cons is he can get hurt as much as he can hurt, especially because the only opportunity you have to play the character is against other band tier characters. So if you make any mistake at all against any band tier character, you're gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh. So. And uh, some of them can like stay really, really safe if they wanted to. With a sick Rick, he doesn't really have that, uh, you know, on his side. He doesn't really have that going for him. Everything he does is unsafe. Yeah, and if you compare to someone like Snoop Dogg, you know, all my heavy kicks are safe. This is safe. This is safe. Yeah. And this is also safe. Like, it's ridiculous. Another thing I want to ask about Slick Rick is that what about his stats, though? I know his damage is pretty good, but what about his health, toughness, and speed? His stats are actually really good. Yeah, I think he has out of the the submissionists and martial artists, I think he got the best stats in the game. I think I don't think a kickboxer has better stats than him. Like that's that's purely just this, because like Bubba Sparks obviously has like really good stats and he's a kickboxer as well. But his stats are really, really good. Definitely better than Pod, because definitely better than uh uh what's the name? You would say like he has a well rounded stats. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, his that's like it's not it's not the best in his tier, but it's definitely not the worst. Like you can, you can take at least one mix up from a top tier. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Which is what you need. You know, you can take one mix up. Yeah, that is true. But, um, another thing also I want to ask about Slick Rick is that since you did cover about it, like his moves and such of that, uh, the flying knee is that the uh, that's heavy five k right? Where it, like jumps. Yeah, up this and is. Yeah. Yeah. This is like Does he have game. any else like alternatives that can be like much safer? Is that like the only one you can actually use? Well, this is the this is the one I know about. It, to be honest, these kicks right here, like, oh, that's a goofy. I'm kick. It, yeah, these these kicks to be a funky with you. Like, I don't even be using them. Oh, they probably reactable uh, as well too. Yeah, they're like these are very very slow, but this one has a decent amount of range. Like oh, that wow. step kick is like yeah that that. That right there wow. has a really good one. This one right here, I believe you can get a grapple off 
if you uh no, it, it also can wall stick. Oh man, oh, Snoop just straight kicking him. <laughs> oh my god, Snoop Dogg, man! Wow, well, too much damage. You know, do that. Yeah. So this is his heavy uh, 6k. This is his heavy 4k, and four just means away from opponent, away from opponent. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Mv6k. Do you not see from parry, right? Let me see. Let's test it out. Uh, do you punch into it? Oh shit! I did forgot oh. you do two punches. Yeah. Okay. That's not safe. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta be careful. And those, yeah, you gotta be careful. Every like, yeah, like I said, everything he does is punishable. He doesn't have any like safe option. Mm. But let, let's see what the, I'm actually curious to see what the knee is on block. So I'm going to do two punches into the knee. So I'm going to do six PP knee and then six PP. And I want you to do Snoop Dogg's fastest attack after you block the, the knee. Okay. 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 So Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg is a, is a really fucking fast character though. He really is. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Okay. Yeah. So it's so kind of like uh, it's it's like it's minus enough for you to parry. Yeah. So I'm still able to parry after. So it is safe on yeah. block. So you can't just do whatever you want. His other heavy keys are probably a bit more unsafer. I'm guessing like heavy 4K probably like unsafe. That one. Oh wow, that's definitely yeah. unsafe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I wonder if he can grab you. Well, hold up. Try it. Oh my goodness. Oh my That's goodness. Bad. <laughs> That's so bad. Yes, it is. Oh, I was late. I was late. Oh, no, okay, no, no. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Never oh, mind. Okay, so okay you, can. So you okay. can break it. Okay, huh. what about the 6P? Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Let's, let's try, try it again. again. Let's try it again. Okay. Okay. No. Yep. Yeah. That, that one's that, bad. That's unsafe. So you can use yeah. the other one, but not, just don't use that one. <laughs> yeah. The heavy four K. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't use the heavy six K. Yeah. Yeah. This that one, that one's you can use. at least. Yeah. Because they can't. But remember, they can they can the uh, like jab punish and stuff like that. They cannot grab him and punish you, but they can punish it. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna try to parry the the jab. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. Definitely. Yeah. I you can't can parry see that. <laughs> yeah. I tried. I tried holding a block there as well. Oh Jesus. Uh, okay. Um. Another thing I want to ask about uh, Slick Rick is that you already went through like his good moves and such. Uh, his best punching. What? What, what would it be? His best punch, in my opinion, is heavy six P. I say heavy 6P because it's his fastest. His fastest offensively. You have to hold forward, so you have to be in their ass to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's good because you could cancel it. You could do one punch. You could do two punches. You could do three punches. You know what I'm saying? And then anywhere in there, you can throw in a grab. You know what I'm saying? You can throw in a knee. We found out now you could do that. I mean, don't, don't, yeah, don't do that. Like, if you go get parried. <laughs> but, but if you're getting them blocked, if you want to bait it as well, and now we know that that works. So, like, I'm saying, he's just offensively on mix. If he, if he can get his opponent to block, I feel like he's more dangerous than if he just hits them with this. Yeah, it, you have to like, make your opponent, like, respect uh, Slick Rick. Yes. He's very, I would describe him as a bully character. He has to very much bully his opponent. Yeah. And like, just force them to but, just uh, eat him. To you have to remember, though, every time you like go in, you're taking a risk. Yes, that is true. Yeah, that's true. You are taking a risk, especially against a lot of these eye framers, which I would say he suffers the most against. Too. I think Slick Rick's worst matchups are all against the eye framers of top tier. Yeah, like, uh, like Red Man, Carmen, and like Snoop Dogg. Because those are like the top eye frame characters. Yes. So, because it makes it really, really hard for him to enforce his game plan. Because even if he does land that offense, like he's severely limited by their iframes, and 
if they're unsafe, because some of these characters have them, they're so fast that you're not even gonna have time to punish. Well, Where you can most, try most to. They try to make an example, like, like do punch, punch it like you're flying in the and see if I can like, go through it. Oh, okay. I didn't know he was gonna do three punches. That's fine. Oh, my fault, my fault. Uh, two punches there. Okay, uh, I get yeah. it. Yeah, come on. Well, oh, my iframe frame kicks too slow, I guess. Okay. Okay, yeah, Snoop Dogg's once is too slow. So maybe you can use it against Snoop Dogg, but I don't think you probably can use it like... You probably couldn't use it against Carmen, because she has that, like, the drop kick, which is super fucking good. Yeah. And Red Knight, just even on... It's even just, like, in neutral. Like, 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 actually, like, play neutral with me for a second. Like, with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> like... Oh, shit. I have to do that. Like, I have to do stuff like that. The thing is that you can't react to that running kick. You just have to predict it, and it's so so fast. Yeah, it is. It's... I don't think he has a, a wall. No, no, he doesn't. He's not a martial artist. Yeah, he has that. That's a good one. He's too. Running... Yeah, but you just would rather use a running kick because it's safer. Yeah, but it's not safe against parry plus, but like, tr like how many yeah. times have people like actually parry that? That not very often, not very often. Pe people more so will just walk laterally because that's a way to counter it as well. If you just walk laterally, uh, yeah. the tracking won't. won't oh my god! Uh, catch you. You wasn't even near so, me. You still hit me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but people more so just do that to counter him instead of trying to parry him. Yeah. It's really, really good. It's probably like the second best running kick in the game, honestly. Like, I would say Snoop Dogg, this one's really good, but the one Slick Rick has, I would say he's better. Uh, and then yeah. you have uh, the one Lil' Kim has, that's probably the best in family. But, uh, the one Lil... The one, I like, forgot the, what that one was. They Lil jump Kim. forward and, like, kick you. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, anything else uh, about Slick Rick you want to talk about? Um, no, really, I mean, he would just... You, would you recommend these heavy punches? No, the only one I would say is is this one because the rest of them are like really ass. Like look, like, like oh, these are yeah. Like it's the only one that's worth the shit because you can land a heavy grapple after it. But yeah. it's only good once your opponent is conditioned. Yeah, like it's not something you do like off rip unless you already have the player matchup knowledge. You know that you know that this player is gonna respect you in that situation. And the bolt sticks. Yeah. That's so good. look at that. Yeah, that's a good punch to. So, so you're basically saying that you can use the heavy punches, but you you better off with the heavy kicks. Yeah, you better off with the heavy kicks if you wanted to play it more safe with the character. Uh, you use the knee because, as we see, it's safe on block. Um, it's obviously not safe on parry, but it's still really really fast. And um, if your opponent is not looking at parry, it can be used offensively uh, to just keep yourself safe, and then you might be able to get a, a parry after it. Yeah. Uh, um... It's just more options, whereas the heavy punch is purely offense. You you do it when you know it's going to hit. That's when you do it. So, in neutral, you would obviously recommend his punch strings, but would you recommend his kick strings in neutral? I mean, this this kick string has some range to it, but like as you see, it's, like, it's very slow. Oh, but yeah. he can go straight into his punches after it. So, yeah. he They're can not, throw all well, It's not a true string, that. though. Wait, hold on. Let's uh, try Let's, let's test it out. Yeah, it's not a true string. Well, let me try to parry it. Yeah. Oh, maybe it is actually. Oh, I don't want to do that. You remember, I'm playing on delay and. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, okay, it might be actually. I might have to test that later myself. But from what I'm seeing, okay. yeah, it seems like a true string. That flying knee kick from uh, your kick string looks. It seems pretty good actually. Yeah. I mean, if you compare it to like someone like Snoop Dogg, like, look how far mine goes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it doesn't seem like a horrible kick, but would you recommend it? Um, I would honestly like do some more experiments with it. To be honest, like this is like the first time I've ever like really tried to use it. Yeah. Like this, this is a new discovery oh, made okay. here. It's not a true string. If you block, well, that was one. that version. Of it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Never yeah. mind. I just have to be quicker or not. Okay. So what about? Okay, there you go. Yeah, you can that, do that. there's the mix. That's the mix. Yeah. You know, I did. Oh yeah. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. Look. 
Oh, maybe I'm just oh, too good. God. So wait, is that? I'm just trying to see if the timing's the same. So I'm trying to see. Cause the timing. Okay, so there you go. There, then you can have the grab to like, yeah. Yeah. So that's really that. So that kick can be used as a mix-up. You're gonna go with the punches, the heavy punch, the heavy kick, or if you expect a parry, you could just grab him. Yeah, that's yeah. like the horrible kick, honestly. No, it seems like you can approach with it. Yeah, I know Method Man has a similar kick where you can approach with, but Method Man is a yeah. different character. We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a whole wrestler. So yeah, he yeah. can approach with that as well. Yeah, which does have uh, it's an advancing normal, unlike his uh, regular six B. So yeah, he can approach with that. Yeah, I will especially also say... right there mm -hmm. with camera voodoo. Like that could be very deceptive. Like like hand like yeah, see. Like, you can't oh, really yeah. see where I'm at, and then, like, you don't really know how close I am. Yeah, yeah. I want to say another thing as well is that on, the, on that uh, that kick thing, where he jumps in easy, that, that one, I would just say that pe maybe people will try to, like, probably, like, grab punish you from far away, like, whiff punish you with a grab or something. So you can probably just go oh, in yeah. and, like, attack so you can, like, bait the grab and kill him for the grab and probably break it, you know? Yeah. That actually seems really good, like, to be... Okay, like, like yeah, so, so... <laughs> Yeah, so I tried to grab are actually, like, fat Oh, there, man. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to grab, but, like, oh, there you go. Okay, I was oh. able to. Okay, so he, he has, has to the be... time. If he, if he, if he thinks yeah. he's going to do that, yeah, then he has to be on the lookout for it. Yeah, I mean, again, there's a lot of, like, options you can do there. So, yeah, if they're able to get that, then wow. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're able to enforce this somehow on your opponent, like, in neutral, which I think it might be possible. Because, like I said, he's a bully character. He's meant to intimidate the opponent. Yeah, and like he specializes in that. Fight not just back, like doing go fight back. <laughs> yeah, fight back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good punch ring as well. Yeah, it is six p. So, anything else about Slick Rick? I might have missed. Oh, this advances as well. This is this is his five p. I'm pretty sure all it's his a, punch rings are like really really good. Yeah, this. But, oh, this yeah. one. It, it, oh, that's four p. That advances as well. Oof, well. Damn. But you can you can parry that. I don't think that's real. I can I can definitely power that. Yeah. 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 Most punch shrinks and kick shrinks on this game are unsafe on parry. Oh. Oh, there you go. That. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think you can like try to demonstrate uh, how a slick rig combo would look like on the wall. I mean, you're kind of doing oh. it right now, so. Yeah. You go for the kicks. Uh, yeah. You can only go for a, a certain amount of kicks depending on your opponent's health. Yeah. Yeah. Look how so, much damage you're doing here. Uh, yeah. My, my, my arm is disabled. Uh, look yep. how much so damage I'll do. Me. Look how throw much damage I do. Yeah. And if yeah. I do a combo here, like I'm using kicks right now, but look, look mm -hmm. how the damage I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, like that's absolutely nothing to have like a start of the game. Do do a do a crow combo. All right. Like, look at this. Like, that's nothing. Mm. <laughs> so, wow. That's one of the reasons submissions are quite strong on this game. Yes, it is. Just cripples His your character. Damage. It's significantly reduced. Yeah. Right. I'm trying to think of. Uh... Um, oh, yeah. oh, he does have. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He has he has yeah, some tech yeah. on this like uh, the wall. Yeah, he has some tech yeah. on that. But basically, the you know you got it right when they roll off the wall and you land a back throw. So you wanna? Oh, oh. wow, he didn't even roll off right there. <laughs> Snoop Dogg making his own rules. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> the, the damage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can just do something like this. Like, you just run all the way back and just get it like this. I'm pretty sure. And just run all the way back? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get something like that. Because that's what most people do with, uh, like, Joe Button and such. Okay. Yeah, like There that. we go. Yep. So. And then, yeah. That's, you. that's gonna stun me, actually. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a stun. Yeah, see, I'm stunned. And now he's going to get more damage on me. And this is going to do, like, so much damage. If I had, like, full HP, that's, this would have done so much. And that's obviously going to kill. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing that's pretty much it. Uh, it was fun making the video with you. I'll always love uh, making videos with other people. Uh, handles and everything you have? Um. Yes. So you can follow me uh, on Twitch uh, at twitch.tv slash thickandmondo. You can follow me on Twitter at bjjmondo uh, as well as on Instagram the Julius Longmore and uh, oh yeah on YouTube is also just JJ Mondo yeah and uh, I like uh, thanks Scorpion for having me on it's pretty cool to uh, just talk Def Jam with you you know what I'm saying talk this character and just uh, it was fun man I had a yeah, good time uh, so guys that was pretty much it for the video here I hope you enjoyed it we talked about Slick Rick and such. Uh, I'm probably gonna upload some more videos with all the other different different types of guests, like Joey, maybe GK, Gatekeeper. If we can get in contact with them. So yeah, I hope you pretty much enjoy it. Like, subscribe, you know, whatever. Do your thing.